begin tonight with a heartwarming story of lost love. It's the story of 99-year-old Annette Vardy. Within minutes of meeting her, you realize the woman everyone calls Neat is a master storyteller. But her best story is her own. It's about a lifelong romance with a man she lost over seven decades ago. A romance you could say came full circle four days ago when Neat passed along a very special, very old gift. I place this ring on your finger. This moment, a lifelong promise made with a ring. No ordinary ring, a ring that represents a love found, then lost over 77 years ago. This is the first time Meat has performed a wedding ceremony, sealing the bond between her relative Chris Vardy and his bride, Mary Crotty, using a treasured wedding ring that once held the promise of her own future unrealized. When Neat was 22, she fell in love. He was a gentleman in every sense of the word. And I like gentlemen. Her gentleman was 24-year-old Arthur Stanfield from Bonavista, a school teacher just like her. He was a handsome young man. And I thought that I had the world in a shell. But we have to take life as it comes. And life did step in. World War II, Arthur enlisted in the Navy. But before he went off to war, they made a promise to each other. He came to the house to see me where I was staying. And uh, he said, uh, will you marry me? And I said, when you come back. And he said, uh, will you accept a ring? And I said, yes. So he knelt down and put the ring on my finger. It's still with me. Arthur survived the war, but he died on his way back home to Newfoundland. He visited his family in Toronto and he was on his way to Newfoundland and I was waiting, anticipating. He went out to Niagara Falls and there was a boat capsized. He swam out and he got two people, saved their lives, came back to shore, brought them back, and uh, he died of a heart attack. I picked up the paper and I read the notice in the paper and that's how I found out. I didn't shed any tears, but I closed the paper and I put it down on the, and I went to my room and I prayed. That's the only thing I could do. And I felt very much alone at that time, although there was many people around, but I really felt like I was absolutely alone no one to turn to. So she turned to the future, her dream of going overseas as a missionary. And I thought that we would go together. So I did say to God, I will go alone and do what I can. <laughs> I went to India and I was there for 30 years. Neat became Major Vardy with the Salvation Army, a nurse in charge of the Children's Hospital Ward in what was once called Bombay. That's also where Mother Teresa had an orphanage. I would send a child to her, but sometimes they got sick and they, she would send them to, back to us to the hospital. Then one day, a sick, orphaned infant, a little girl named Leela, captured Neat's heart. She was just a bundle of bones and not very pretty to look at. But if you look into anybody, there's some beauty there. So I saw the beautiful spot and I adopted her. And I brought her up. She went to college. She got married. 
She, had th she has three handsome young men now. They have all been through university. Generation after generation, and throughout it all, Neat kept her engagement ring close, wearing it on a necklace every day, an act of devotion that never wavered. She continued to love Arthur and only Arthur. Still, just as fresh today as the day he asked me to marry him. I have never seen anybody that I've been interested in. Lots and lots of male friends. But right at the very beginning, I would make it quite clear that I wasn't interested. Not the least bit interested in getting married. Or anything else. <laughs> Arthur was truly the love of her life. And he asked me to wait for him. I'm still waiting. If you make a promise, you keep it. The promise is made. Now, a new promise a second chance for her cherished ring. And I wanted somebody to have them that would care. You got a wonderful man there. I do, I do. So that's that story. And what a story it is. I can't believe that she's 99 years old. I can only hope that when I reach that age that I'm as bright and as sharp as she is. I know, absolutely. And you know what? She turns 100 in January. Wow. Just amazing. And you know, I also spoke with the bride who now wears Neat's rings. Here's what Mary Crotty has to say about receiving such a meaningful gift. When she first told me about the rings and offered me the rings, I was, uh, I was speechless because I thought, who am I? that she would hold these rings all these years and, and, and want to give them to me. And uh, so when I picked them up and I saw how beautiful her ring was and, and her engagement ring, I was, I was just overwhelmed. Uh, we, we will cherish them because of who owned them and the history that surrounds them. She just, she only had Arthur. He was it. And even though he was loved and lost, he is still with her very much.